Do you want to watch Major League Baseball for free? Well, we're going to show you how. You can actually do this today on your computer, on your smartphone, on your tablet, uh, iPhone or iPad or, or Android phone or Android, Android uh, tablet. You can also do this on smart TVs that have the ability to install the, Ro the, uh, the MLB app, um, including Roku, Fi Amazon Fire Stick, and Apple TV. We're going to show you how to watch MLB games for free coming up next. We are going to be uh, showing you and going over how you can stream various various uh, content. Now, right now, uh, there's there's a lot that is going on. Um, we we have March Madness going on. We did talk about that last week uh, and the week before, and actually showed you how you can actually watch uh, March Madness games. So if you missed that, head over to last week's show. We actually went over that in, in the first first portion of last week's show. And in the next few days, I'll actually do a breakout where I actually show how to do that. You'll actually see that and you'll be able to, to check that out. Now, one of the things that is going on right now, uh, well, there's a few things going on right now. But one of the things, we are in the start of the Major League Baseball season. and And so... Uh, you may be a baseball fan and you may want to watch Major League Baseball. And of course, if you have cable TV, well, today, uh, in, in today's world, you can actually watch uh, games. Uh, there, there's a lot more availability of games for free if you have cable TV. Of course, it's not really free because you're paying for it. But um, if if you don't have cable TV, you may be wondering, how would I watch Major League Baseball uh, without cable TV? Of course, we could you could actually subscribe to a uh, to a plan, a subscription that is designed to be a cable TV replacement, such as YouTube TV or Sling or Hulu plus live TV or um Direct TV has one as well. They, you know, they've changed the name of it. It used to be, I think, Direct TV uh, Stream or Direct TV Now, and then it changed to AT and T uh, TV Now, and then it, I think, it's back to Direct TV Now. But, but anyway, those are ways that you can watch that. You also can go directly to MLB, and um, for free, you can watch the free game of the day. And today, I'll actually switch over to a full screen so that you can see this. Those that are watching on the web and on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. But if you're not at, at you know, if you're not able to watch right now, maybe you're listening, maybe you're driving down the road. We do not recommend watching a Faster PC radio or Faster PC live technical support while you're driving down the road. Uh, you can listen to it. But definitely, you want to tune in. You, you can check out the, the show later. But you'll just go to, uh, to uh, MLB.com. You, you want to create an account. It's free to create an account. You have to have an email address. You have to create a password. Um, and once you're in there, then you can actually, you can actually uh, get in there and, and watch the free game of the day. I actually did a search for MLB game of the day. And uh, you get MLB.com slash live stream. And that comes up and it tells you about the free game of the day. And and there's also a free game of the day on MLB. Both of these, by the way, are at MLB.com. That's one thing that's, by the way, very important when you're searching for things. We see this happen quite often. We'll talk about this a little bit more later uh, you know, in the, in the cybersecurity segment. But we see people that do searches and get something other than what they're looking for. And just just know that when you want to go watch an MLB game, you want to actually be at MLB.com. Um, and and so, you know, over here we are at MLB.com. I have logged in. 
with my username and password. I'm not paying for this, but I can today at 1.40 p.m. I can watch the Brewers play the Mets. And so if you're a New York Mets fan, this is great. You can watch this for free. You can watch this. Ways that you can watch this. You can watch this on your computer for free. You can also watch this on your phone for free. And if you have a smart TV, and when I say smart TV, there's a lot of TVs that call themselves smart. But some TVs are smarter than others. And when I say smart TV, um, really, you need one that's capable of installing the MLB app. And typically, you're going to be looking at the Roku, which is, and, and Roku, some TVs come with Roku built into them. And if not, you can buy a little device that you stick into a USB or to a HDMI port or a large, a little bit larger device that is connected to your TV through an HDMI cable. And that will get you Roku. Or you can actually use an Amazon Fire Stick. Or you can use Apple TV. And you want to install the MLB app. You will need to have an, an account. The easiest way to get that is to go to your computer and actually go to MLB.com and create an account. Again, that's going to be it consists of the username, which is an email address, and your password, which you can create. And then you're going to need to, after you install the MLB app on the Roku or Fire Stick or Apple TV, you're going to need to log in. And then you will be able, there's a lot of content you can watch for free. There's highlights and various other things. And you can also head over and you can go to MLB. Uh, and watch the MLB game of the day. Again, at 1.40 today, you could click on this. You could watch it. Um, one thing you can do also is you can watch it after the fact. As an example, we'll go back to yesterday. So if we go back to yesterday, yesterday was a different set of teams that were the game of the day. Yesterday was the Guardians, which used to be the Indians, but now they're the Guardians because uh, it's not politically correct, they say, to call themselves the Indians. But um, uh, And, and then, then you have the, the athletics. So what we can do is we go over here to, to this, this segment, and you see that you can actually get the Cleveland broadcast or the Oakland broadcast. So if you're a Cleveland fan, you want to get maybe their perspective on it, you can do that. This you see the little little symbol that shows that this is this is on TV. You can also listen to the audio um, the audio broadcast. But let's just say we want to get the uh, Oakland side of it. Uh, no offense to the uh, Cleveland side of it. But you just click on the call letters of the station. It loads. There's also the option to watch a condensed game. By the way, you can also watch highlights. But we can actually we can actually click. And we can start watching this game that happened yesterday. So, you know, anytime after the game, uh, you'll be able to watch today's game or you can go back to a previous game and you can watch that as well. And this is all free. This is Brian Longworth, host of a Faster PC live technical support heard every Saturday and streamed every Saturday in the 10 o'clock hour Eastern Standard Time. Hey, if you've liked this video, if you've learned something, please like the video, click, click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos.